What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Fish and Grubs. Guys, today we're going to be surprising Becca, taking her out to pick up her Christmas gift. Now, just so all of you guys know, Becca got a big clam ice fishing tent thing for when we go ice fishing this year. Because I only have like a small little one person, two person frabill fold over. She got like the full on deal. Um, I've been thinking about what to get her for Christmas for a while. And so I watched our buddy Kyle's video, the Wisconsin Fisherman, his video on the brand new Mr. Heater Flex. This thing is a freaking beast. And I was like, man, I love that thing. But I could never use it because our little, like we don't need that in the tiny little hut that I have for ice fishing. But Becca doesn't have a heater. And this heater is going to heat her tent so freaking well. It's unbelievable. This thing is without a doubt the best heater on the market right now, especially because you can actually plug in a cooking apparatus to the heater and use that to heat and cook at the same time. It's the coolest freaking thing ever. And if you guys want, I would love for you to go over to Kyle's channel, uh, The Wisconsin Fisherman, check him out, check his video uh, of the unboxing out. Let him know we sent you. Kyle's been one of our good buddies and a supporter of the channel since like the very beginning. And we actually got to hang out and fish with him last summer, which was amazing. He also works with Aquaview and does some insane underwater ice fishing videos. So please go over and check him out. So Becca should be here any minute. Tomorrow we're actually gonna be going and picking up all of our ice fishing gear from the old apartment. So we are getting ready for ice fishing folks. We are getting ready. Also, if you didn't see my review videos on the ice fishing boots that we have, please go check those out as well. We'll leave them linked up above. All right, let's get the show on the road. Doing? Gang. What are you doing in my car, bro? Get out. Okay. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, the surprise was partially given away, at least to where we're going. Um, I put the directions into my phone right next to Becca, and it was like uh, directions to Lowe's. So that sucks. She's now now she knows that you know it's uh, a big bundle of wood. Wait, really? Yep. That's all we got for her. Dude, chill out. I don't even know if you're serious or not. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's so she can build a new hut um, in her backyard for trapping um, muskrats. She's had a really bad muskrat problem. Stop being a blast. <laughs> we have a bad garden snake problem. Ooh, garden snake. So it's, we're making a garden snake trap, uh, folks. Yes. Yes. So anyways, um, yeah, we're on our way to gift Becca her Christmas gift. Guys. This is gonna be fun. Do they already wait. know? I can't wait to see Becca's reaction. Of course they know. God, they know everything. You know, why do you guys know everything before I do? Becca, what do you think you got? Um, I think that I really, I'm convinced it's wood, so. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. That big old pile of two by fours. <laughs> I love wood. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea on that. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Sick. Sick. Yeah, oh yeah. Brand spanking new this year just came out. I saw that. All right, so Becca's now seen the gift. We are going to get a propane tank so that we can uh, crack this baby open and uh, test it out. We'll probably do that back at the house. Awesome. Propane. About time. That Done, Ski. The people here were so bad with helping us find that. <laughs> So we literally got the very last Mr. Flex Buddy Flexer uh, that Lowe's had. And I checked like all the stores all over Southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. This is the only place that even had this one. This thing must be selling like hotcakes or maybe they didn't order many. I have no idea, but I cannot wait to get this thing open and see what it can do. And like I said earlier, my hut is tiny. So this thing would just be way too much for it. But Becca's brand new clam shelter that she got, this thing is going to be absolutely perfect for. Perfect. It's gonna keep us so cozy. You can probably put that in the trunk. The tree. To put it in the trunk, yo. All right, let's go. It's so heavy. <laughs> it's so cool. All right guys, we're back here at my house. We're opening this thing up outdoors. Uh, Becca's gonna unbox it, and we're gonna tell you our first impressions of it. She's gonna unbox it, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think. So it's kinda gonna be a review from me to you guys about what I think about this thing. Now, I think from what it says on the outside, a couple of the really cool things about it is it is indoor safe. So say your heat went off in your house and you had this for your ice fishing shelter, you could actually use this thing inside without a problem. That's huge. I know my buddy just lost power and his house was frigid for a few days and uh, this could have actually really helped him out. But it has omnidirectional heat, so it goes in more than just one direction, which for a big shelter is key. And it's wind resistant, so we could actually take this thing out and have it right next to us outside of the shelter when we're ice fishing just to like warm up our hands or keep it right in front of the hole while we're fishing and it's gonna shoot heat out at us like just a portable little fireplace that we can bring all over the ice without even having to move our shelter. That to me again is huge because my little Mr. Buddy uh, heater, that thing will go out with just a little of wind. That's so I have to keep, once it's on, I have to keep the door shut in my shelter. If the wind gets ripping inside the shelter, the thing just blows out immediately. Let's uh, let's see Becca open this thing, and then uh, we'll turn it on, and I'll tell you uh, I'll tell you what I think of this, and I'll and we'll get Becca's thoughts as well. Let's open this bad boy and turn it on. Here. You got a key? I got a stick. But... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Here. <laughs> it was working. I'm gonna get bullied for that one. <laughs> God damn it. I got a stick. Anyways. Oh, I was doing so good, dude. I ripped the box, guys. Fired. Sale value just went down about 50 bucks. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, so the first thing we got, we got a battery. Why? I told you, it's electric start. Oh, it's electric. Ah. <laughs> I knew that. Dude. Good. I watched. I watched Kyle's unboxing, so I know everything. <laughs> you need some help. No. Yeah. Maybe. No. No. 
<laughs> Come on, mister. Here we go, here we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. That's how you use your legs, so, yeah. Leg work. You know, when you play hockey your whole life, your legs are your main thing. Okay. Bright, red, black. It's fuzzy. That's it's like, dope. Yeah, it's like fuzzy. Well, here we go. We got the Mr. Heater Buddy Flex. What does this do? I don't know. Maybe I can keep my ice jigs in here. I really don't know what this is. It's just a compartment that opens up. Uh, this is where you put the propane tank, which we're gonna do. And then another... That's oh, where you that, hook yeah, up the accessory. Yeah, this is where you plug the accessory to cook out of. Wow, this thing's dope. I say we just put one of these propane things in this and light this bad boy up. You gotta figure out where the battery goes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Battery definitely goes there. Why isn't it? Dang it, this thing. Oh, you have to unscrew it? Maybe. Where does the battery go? You know what normal people do? Directions. We need to know where the battery goes. Ignition button. Battery cover is right next to quick connect fitting. Yep, so that's where the battery goes. Shoot! Darn it! Rascal. I might have one in my car. The screwdriver? To the rescue. You had one in your car. Amazing. Such a mysterious man. Everyone should have tools in their car. I think I honestly have a screwdriver in my car, but I just, you know, you called the shots first, so I just let you go for it, you know. This is not how you do this one. Yeah, we don't know how to open it correctly, but that is where the battery goes right there. We just don't know how to do it correctly. But you will need a screwdriver, apparently. That's what it looks like, at least. Yeah, it's like 28 degrees out right now. Perfect for this, though. Like, it is, yeah, it's literally actually perfect. Yeah. Perfect We're gonna be so warm this ice fishing season. Seriously, though, stuff like this makes ice fishing feel like you're not even ice fishing. I know, people are like, how do you deal with it out there when it's cold? If you have the right gear, it's really not that bad. Just shut up, lady. This thing swivels. Okay, that thing swivels. To like protect it. Oh, from the heat, oh, from a, the wind. No, no, no. Oh. That's like when you're oh. not using it. You can like keep the, where it goes in protected from when you bang it against something. Just stuck. Off. This off? Oh. I've never bought one of these like this. I get the Walmart ones and then you it's just. the same. They have the same caps. I don't recall. Yeah, because there's a screw. There's a screw. Here. Have fun. It's a screw. Dislikes it. This my excuse. <laughs> That's your excuse for everything. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? I'm dyslexic. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Sorry, dyslexia. There's also a really cool thing you can get, like if we ever get an ATV or mm -hmm. something like that, to actually carry more gear, yeah. heavy stuff. There's a connector you can get that connects to this that connects to big propane tanks. That's sick. So you save a little bit more money. All right, right now we're screwing the propane tank on so we can actually turn it on and show you guys. She's ready. She's ready. All right, so it's in the off position. There's a little little doohickey here. It shows you what side you're working with. So this is the heater, and then this is the accessory mode. So obviously you're gonna wanna go into the ignition pilot over here on the heater side because we don't have the accessory. Not yet. So we're going over there. Drop a like and a comment down below if you want us to get the accessory because we will. Oh, you hear it? Sounds like ice fishing. I can smell it. Just explodes. 
There we go. Oh. It's Did on. It. It's on. <laughs> Look at that thing heat up. Oh my god, I can already feel the warmth. Oh. Yo. Ready? This Should I try blowing? Ready? Test. Whoa. It didn't blow out. It just came right back. And we just put it to the ultimate test right there, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, that compared to any other heater is insane. Any other heater would have blown out the first little... That's insane. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. That's so warm. And it's like just starting to warm up, too. I don't think it's in its full. Dude, we should have brought marshmallows. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. We could have brought marshmallows. This is a portable fireplace at this point. This literally is a portable fireplace. Oh my god, it feels so good. Oh my god. And it's just getting hot. It, yeah, you can you feel can it getting it. hotter and hotter. Yeah, you guys can probably see how it got hotter and hotter. More red, orange, yellow. It's orange. This thing's dope. I'm in love. This oh my god. The shelter so much. Imagine the tip Just like up. sitting next to it, like this, like yeah. ice fishing. Like outside, just like this. And not, obviously we'll have gear on, but like just sitting next to it right now. Just like. It's warming me up so much. Put it in perspective. Imagine a flag goes up. It's a pickerel. We're pissed off and we come sit right next to the <laughs> <laughs> And now we're stoked because we're warm. So the pickerel doesn't even matter. Yo. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fire. Ooh, well, that's like probably video number five in a row. Just look at this, like, you can just tell how warm that is. That's insane. It's so much redder than it was when we first. Yeah, like, it's just getting warmer and warmer and warmer. I think that clothy stuff needed to be, like... I thought my gift was going to be really good, but now it's probably not, so... Here you go. Look at this, guys. I think I got us a big box. It's going to be fantastic this ice fishing season. We're just going to bring it with us everywhere. You don't even know what it is. No, he totally no, I said it's a big box. Oh. <laughs> All right, open this. All right, so let's open up our Christmas, early Christmas gift from Becca. Hanukkah. Oh my God, it's a box, guys. I've always wanted a box. Just nothing in it. It's a 13 fishing box. Can you light it on fire? No. Good. Whoa, guys. Oh, man. 13 fishing, baby. Todd and I are obsessed with 13 fishing, ice fishing combos. Not sponsored by any means, but I 100%, respect it. 100% not sponsored by 13 fishing. We're not, but we respect a good combo when we see one. I honestly cannot stand the big swim bait rod of theirs that I got this year. Um, and I got it because of how much I love their ice fishing stuff. This is where they excel though, folks. They excel on the ice. Look at that thing. Look at that bend, baby, that 13 bend. fishing bend. So this is something I could use, you know, I could have on my like super ultralight, I can have my smallest jigs. And using this, I can use like some of the bigger styles of baits for ice cream. This is the... I don't even know what. This is the 13 fishing heat wave, guys. 13 fishing heat wave combo. How cool is How that? How cool is that? That's I got her combo. the heater and she got me the heat wave. Heat. Wow, we definitely yeah, planned yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah. I got the, he got the heater, I got him the heat wave ice combo. All right, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode for the gift. This thing is so dope. It is going to be amazing. I'm freezing and I can already tell you that thing. I'm mad cold from that. Yeah, come sit over here. All right guys, so Becca has unboxed this insanely incredible little heater. <laughs> and it is freezing cold outside and I'm already like way warmer than I was when we started this whole unboxing part of this video. You can probably see the, it's freaking cold. And um, this thing is 
working beautifully just sitting straight outside, which normally a Mr. Buddy won't freaking do. If the slightest wind comes by, it's gonna shut off. So my first impressions and my review on this gift that we got for Becca, um, I really think that spending the extra money and getting something like this, if you have a shelter that's big enough for it, is something that you definitely need to invest in. Um, this thing is going to keep everybody in your shelter extremely warm and then you also have the possibility to add the little cooker so you can cook using the propane from this and from what I saw in Kyle's video the cooker gives off almost just as much heat as this so even though you have to turn this off to use the cooker the cooker is then heating up your shelter. You're not losing much heat at all using the cooker and you're getting some food. So the way this thing lights electrically is flawless. The fact that you could use it indoors is amazing. The wind resistant part of it is probably my favorite part. And if you're looking for a new heater this season, this thing is definitely something you need to take a look at watch some other videos see everybody's input on it but from me to you guys this is amazing you're also able to get the adapter to plug in a full-on propane tank if you guys have like ATVs and stuff like that to get you out on the ice so you can carry more gear uh, we right now don't have that luxury so I'm signing out guys make sure to subscribe to Becca's channel because we're gonna be doing some crazy ice fishing stuff this year. We are pumped to get out there on the, on the hard water and it is coming faster than we could possibly ask for. We might even be on the ice by next week. Mm -hmm. So thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. And fish on! Dump finna jump for the shit. All top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, been a long day. Hit your line with your fall through with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Say, they live for the ears. I know that's how they like.